Hi, today we're going to show you how we emboss. Embossing is a process where we stamp the sheet and we give the image a raised effect. Now we need three things to emboss. We need an embossing block, we need a product called Pragoplast, and we also need a letterpress printing press such as the Heidelberg Platinum. So let's get to it. The press behind me is the Heidelberg Platten. This particular model was built in the early 60s, so it really is like an antique. But it also does everything we need it to do, including scoring, perforating, and also embossing. Now we're going to show you a bit about how the Heidelberg Platten works before we do our embossing job. The Heidelberg Platten is sometimes called the Heidelberg Helicopter because of its rotating gripper bars. The large wheel on the side drives the belt. When the clutch is disengaged, this sets the press into motion. The suction bar comes down, picks up the paper and transports it to the gripper bar. The gripper bar takes the sheet through to the press to be printed before transferring it to the delivery truck. The Heidelberg Platten weighs almost two tonne is made mostly of solid steel and will probably live longer than you and I. Okay, so probably the best way to show you embossing is to do it on a real job. So what we've done is we've printed some notepads and you can see that the word lift has the letter I missing. That's the letter that we'll be embossing. So let's go and take you through the process now of embossing. The first thing we do is lock the embossing block up in the chase using the coin key. We dab some red ink on the embossing block so that we can take a print on the sheet and get the position before we set up the embossing. Now the chase goes in the press. With the chase containing the embossing block in the press, we can take our first print. The embossing block isn't in the exact position that we need it to be, so we take the chase out, unlock it, and move the block until we get it into the exact position that we need. Now we take another print to check the position again. Now that we're happy with the position, we can take a print on the packing. With the embossed image printed onto the packing, this allows us to apply the Prago class accurately. Now we take an impression from the embossing block to the Prago class. Prago class consists of two layers a white rubbery layer at the top and a red spongy layer at the bottom. This is the fiddly part of embossing. Trimming the excess area of Prago Plast that extends past the embossing block. Using a sharp knife, we trim the top rubber layer of the Prago Plast just outside the embossed image leaving the red layer underneath. This part of embossing requires a great deal of care and patience. You'll have to trim as close as you can to the edge of the embossed image to make sure we get a good print. But if you trim through any of the embossed area, you have to start all over again. Now it's time to take our first embossed print on paper. Now that we're happy with the position and we're happy with how it's embossing, we can go ahead and print the job.
Thanks for watching this video. We hope that now that you've got a better understanding of how embossing works. To check our other videos, go to www.simplyprint.net.